All right, we're on this uh, Johnson Red. So we're on this Johnson Red 2149 right now. So we're at the stages we're just playing with it at this point. Um, I'm actually making this video right after the last video you've seen where it ran out of gas. So, you know, we're just, I'm just putting more fuel in it really and running it some more. Now, I did make a change though, because when I fueled it up, um, it had a clutch spring issue. I had another clutch, it's a used clutch. So I threw that clutch on to see if it does any better. And this is a different chain that I just freshly sharpened. And hopefully, I'm hoping I didn't make it too hungry. Um, this is where we're at though. We're literally just the final tweaks, making sure we get our chain just right and run it, you know, and play with the tune some. So that's all we're doing today is we're playing with it. And let's see how she does. The rope. Rope just broke. Yep, I gotta go fix the rope. All right, it looked like the rope and the spring broke. So I was thinking about throwing the spring out of this starter in it. This is my 350. I decided to just throw the whole starter on and get a new spring for the other one. So this will work for now, you know. Alrighty. I'm wondering, I might have flooded this thing pulling on it like that. Let's see. Oh, 
still spinning which I'm thinking it might be because I'm not getting the idle turn tuned down far enough um, it doesn't want to tune down low enough in the idle to shut that clutch down so either these clutch springs you know I mean they were both used but either these are, are weak as well or um, it's just the way this saw wants to run uh, what else uh, the ignition timing is a little off, just a little. So I was playing with the tune. There's a tiniest little crackle in the exhaust. And I was playing with the tune, fattening it up, leaning it out, and it wasn't affecting it. Um, it's almost the same sound as like your, if your, your, if your tune was just a, a touch on the, the rich side. You can hear like your exhaust is just tiny a little bit on the rough side it's not quite as smooth that's kind of how this is sounding but it doesn't the tune doesn't change it i think the i got the ignition timing just a smidge too far advanced just a smidge um so i'll probably back it off like two degrees here in the future i don't think it's enough that it's really hurting it um but it's definitely too far advanced so we're going to have to back probably two degrees off of that. Besides that, um, I have no complaints. The chain, I just sharpened it. Uh, and it doesn't seem quite hungry enough, but it's at that point to where it's kind of forgiving, if you know what I mean. So you, you get a little more freedom on how hard you push to how much it eats. You know what I mean? It's a little more forgiving like this. This is probably the way I'm going to run it. I might even just leave it like this for the race. You know what I mean? 
Um, I don't have a lot of time to play with this, so I might just leave this all sit like this and show up to the race like this. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think two, two degrees of ignition timing are going to really change a lot in the performance of this salt. And the chain, I mean, that's as sharp as I'm getting it. The, uh, it's just, a, the raker is probably a touch on the high side, which you can kind of make up for that by pushing it through the cut a little harder, you know. Um, we are cutting poplar and I don't know. Maybe I will take a little off these rakers. We'll see. We've got more playing to do. You know what I mean? But that's it. There she is. I still haven't decided on whether or not I'm going to put that plastic on the top and cut it around this carburetor or if I'm going to work at swapping this carburetor out to the other style that would allow me to use that cover without modifying it. I'm still debating. She runs fine. You know what I mean? She runs completely fine as is. Um, the muffler, remember me a while back I said about this muffler uh, and how it all went the heck and back and all screwed up. So I actually have a muffler getting shipped to Charlie Briscoe. He is going to do, he's basically going to duplicate that muffler mod and uh, hopefully he brings it to him or brings it with him to Sawfest. And then uh, after Sawfest, we can put it on and we'll have a better muffler mod. You know what I mean? But there she is. She's running pretty good. Pretty torquey, too. She's got a lot of torque. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what will happen once I get that piston swapped out and drop that exhaust roof down to 98. I mean, we're at 92 now. Taking it down to 98 should help pick up some torque and, and everything. But she's not revving out really high in the RPM as much as I'd like it to. Um, it's kind of like... I don't know. You see a lot of these built that really scream out high in the RPM. I hear this one is this one sounds more like a 550 or something. It's got that real heavy four stroke on the top end. I mean, that's where it wants to be tuned. If I lean it out to get rid of that, it just it loses torque, it loses power. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's not performing like a lot of them that I've seen. She's got a heavy four-stroke. So, yeah, I'm not. I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting a heavy four-stroke out of this thing, and it is. That's where it wants to be in the tune. Real heavy on that four-stroke. When you free rev it, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely not performing the way I thought it would, but I'm pretty happy regardless. She's torquey.